Well, good morning, folks. Today's Monday. We are headed back down to the Hash Ridge job. Today, my number one goal is to uh, finish the uh, garage apartment pad. Um, need to get it finished up. Of course, I forgot to bring <clears throat> my transit. But uh, I can get it really, 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 really close on the great part of it. And then I'll talk to the customer today about what they uh, what they kind of uh, expect uh, as far as the finish. If they want us to, to actually grade the pad and prep it for gravel. And uh, shoot. Yeah do that aspect of the project too. <clears throat> I didn't anticipate doing that for them just because uh, I didn't really even know really exactly for sure what kind of construction they were they were going to do and, uh, different strokes for different folks kind of thing they uh, then the contractor they may have chose so I just usually I don't I do not unless the customer specifies I do not do the actual leveling of the pad I get it I get it within fall to where water won't lay on it because sometimes I build these projects and it's, you know, next year before they do anything. So you don't want water just laying on top of a level surface for, for you know, X amount of years or months. And then you get, you know, a really soggy mess when you're trying to get started. So saying that, that's what we're going to tackle today. Um, oh, uh. Cody. Oh, Cody starts his uh, second week today. So uh, he's already messaged me early this morning, making sure where he's going. I'm just going to have him meet us over on the job instead of driving to my place, my, my shop, and then turn around driving right by his house. It just don't make very good sense. So we're going to head down here. I'm going to stop at Sheets and get me a, uh, give me a bag of ice and some uh, Donuts. I think I want some donuts. Miss Kay's supposed to call today about a ice machine. We're going to get us an ice machine for the uh, for the for the shop to eliminate this right here, having to go and get ice. I should have did this years ago. The same thing is with my my off road diesel tank. That's the reason why I've got it. It's convenience. It's not so much. It's not as much saving money as it is about convenience. You, I save money through the convenience of not having to go to fuel stations and get fuel all the time. I got it right there at my shop. I do save money by buying 500 gallons, 1,000 gallons at a time. I do save money that way, but it's not really about saving the money as it is the convenience and the uh, less uh, downtime. So we'll do the, pretty much the same thing with, uh, with an ice machine. Really, really, really want an ice machine. So that done and figured out today hopefully and let's sit down here and get these dozers and stuff fired up get the roller and everything fired up our road's probably a little bit of a wet mess but it ain't too big of a deal uh, i knew it was going to be because the water's still running out of the hill uh, like we talked about before i rolled it in slanted it to where the water would just run over the road it's just we didn't have enough time uh waiting on the tree guys uh, to show up to cut them trees really put us in a bind that day because I would have went ahead and ditched the road and all that but because of we knew that when we cut the trees we was going to you know have a bunch of little pieces of brush laying everywhere broken up and then we was going to be tearing the road up by spinning in the road carrying the brush out it really kind of put us in a bind waiting on those cats but it is what it is now we can actually go back and finish everything because we don't have to worry about no more trees. You guys stay tuned and uh, sorry for blabbing your head off. Well, while Cody's rolling the wire, the string up there and pulling the stakes out, <clears throat> we're going to run back here and get the pusher and start cutting in this garage seat. They got her staked out. It's going to look nice. You're basically going to pull straight in you're gonna be looking right at the front doors of it i gotta take some of this heel out a little bit of this side out 
which ain't no big deal. I need to fill in. I need to fill in this here pretty heavy. That way, uh, and I gotta fill in all of this area. That way when they come up, if they wanna go to their house, they can come out, turn, and go up the hill. So it's all gonna work out good, which I'd already cut out quite a bit of it from the other day. After Friday, yeah, Friday, after I went and looked at that job, I come back and worked. And if you can see right here, this is the reason why I didn't get no hurry about peeling this mud off this road, because a lot of it's already starting to dry up. So you don't have to be as evasive. So, um, I'm gonna go back here and get the dozer. And then that way, basically, after I get this pad and everything built, then I'll start working on the road and getting this road finished. I'll put my ditch line and stuff in it. That'll collect all that water and it'll divert it to where we needed to divert it to. We'll have to go get some culverts. Probably not today. Probably be tomorrow. Get some culverts and lay some culverts in. And then um, we'll be ready for gravel. I don't know if stones can get to us or not, but we'll try. See if stones can get out here. At least get it rocked up to the garage. And then we can start working on the top. Get this baby finished up. So you guys stay tuned and stay with me and let's see what we can get accomplished today. Well, here we are. We're getting her closer. This here had a little bit of crappy dirt in it. I had to peel smoke back up. I didn't like it. Starting to pump. So I got it peeled back up. And now we're just, uh, watch that. That's what I'm talking about. It, it's outside of the pad area, but it's just that crappy Loomis clay where it's been saturated for years and years and years. It's just hard to build on. But anyway, we are, he, he went, uh, sent, uh, sent Pooh Bear, which is, Pooh Bear is now the nickname for Cody. Um, I don't know how or where I come up with Pooh Bear, but it just fit. So now Cody is called Pooh Bear. Uh, I had another, I was going to call him Pooh Bear or Puddin. I had another guy at work for me named Puddin. Well, Puddin was a, he was a good operator. Pudding went into, uh, he ended up quit operating and went back into what he used to do was machining work and ended up getting him a good job. And, uh, he still comes out and babbles a little bit. I got another guy that uh, done a similar, similar thing. He likes to operate, but operating don't pay as good as he's on his other job. So when he's not doing his other job, he comes over here and dabbles with me and I'm glad to have him. But anyway. So Pooh Bear went after lunch. While Pooh Bear is gone, I am going to finish, try to finish, get this a little bit closer, uh, our pad area, get our pad just a little bit closer so that we can uh, shoot it and see what kind of fine tunings we need before I start closing and capping this end up. Uh, we're in, ultimately, we're working our way out that way you can see as we're building and raising this road up now i'm going to put a little swag in this road um just because the difference is in the elevation i got it raised up pretty good i i still don't like it i'm still going to fill in we got to make a nice big swing right in here that way they can come down this driveway swing and go left turn clyde and come up this hill we got to build up got to build that whole area up down there um, I'm trying to get every ounce of field material dirt that I can get from here out there. So that way we don't have to cut too much out of this or shove from way up yonder all the way down. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to keep from having to do that. So the closer I get this to where I need it with what I have here, the easier it's going to be to build this up. Because I'll actually have to put in a toe. I have to come in here and cut a notch and cut a uh, a keyway in, and I'll actually have to build that whole shoulder up in this road. So 
a lot of material up there will have to be shoved all the way down here and build here. So because it's a water seam in there, I got to get all that dug out and hopefully get into some shale, which I think I will. Key that in and I'll have to start building that up in order to make that road hold like I think it needs to be down through here. And then I can take a lot of this out and just kind of ramp it up and put on the face of that key. So I got a good idea for that. Um, I over-engineer things, I know I do, I always have, but it's from seeing things that I did wrong last time. I don't want that to go wrong again. It gets embarrassing. It's, it's already embarrassing to make a mistake, but when you start making the mistake a couple times in a row, it starts to get embarrassing. Uh, Pooh Bear's doing a real good job on the roller. He's learning. I'm trying to be patient, which is a new for me. It's hard for me to be patient. And I'm being patient. So, I'm going to get in here and cut this out. I got a little bit more I can cut out of here, and I want to try to fill this. I want to get this pad built. I've got the road now close enough and to where I can get the pad. I got the pad close enough for the road, so now it's time to close one of them up. So, Let's get on this pusher and start that. Giving the old girl a drink. Trying to get this road about 90% done. Pooh Bear, uh, Pooh Bear run the, S, run the uh, roller out of fuel, so we had to get the truck out here. Anyway, so I made it work. I'm gonna make a little spot for it to park over there somewhere. Get these edges caught up, get all this here trimmed in. I had this uh, pad out five inches. That's pretty daggone good, but just using my eyeball five inches out. So we'll button all this back up, tighten it up good and tight, get him to roll it in, and then uh, try to get this, try to get this leg of the road built out through there. Um, I mean, it's close. I could almost get just enough gradual grade and then just put me a culvert in about right here somewhere, let that water fall in and drop out. It's close. So, tighten up. Well, Pooh Bear is rolling that in. I think that's about all I can get. Whatever I've got left over, I gotta use it to dress up my shoulder below my road. So anything I need out of there, I'm gonna to have to get from this upper upper road now. So but man, I've got her close. We've got some we've got some useless dirt through here. We'll have to peel that off and just throw it away. I got I hope I can get down into some good dirt down below that. It's still kind of wet. Got a little bit of water coming out. off of that. I think, I mean, it's going to be close. So I think we'll be all right. I guess worst case, I either have to shove it from down there to the top of the hill down or should put a little bit more in there. He, I didn't notice that until the last minute. I gotta, I'm getting ready to whip this. I gotta V this ditch out right here on this upper side. I'm gonna V it out. So when I do that, I'll clean that up. Fix that to where you can roll it in a little bit better. But that's what we're looking like. Right there where the dozer's sitting at. That's where the garage apartment's gonna be. And all this down in here, I've uh, walked around on that it's all mud and stuff i've got it tracked in got her pretty dry letting her dry out some more before i finesse it i can fin finesse it up a little bit more tomorrow i got a little bit more here i can cut out and i plan on cutting it out to put on this bank kind of dress that up clean that up some i think that's cool i think that's going to turn out really really nice i think this is going to be really nice up through here's where the road goes to the house so we're making progress 
I just don't want to have to get in here and take a bunch more of these trees and stuff out. I ain't got much left I can cut out up through there. That's pretty much dead on. I got enough room, got enough to make my ditch and everything. And I gotta kind of finesse this where I'm sitting at, so. It just ain't a whole lot of good dirt. There's about 18 inches, almost two feet. On that hillside right there, it's just useless. You're just gonna roll it out of there because it ain't any no good to build with. Probably if I slide a, about another half a joint of pipe on right there, I could clip this corner and fill this corner in for them. And they might decide to do that, I don't know. Feel too much around them sycamores, it'll kill them. I mean, it takes quite a bit, but it would help if it'd give them a little bit wider area over here. This is 40 feet, I only counted on 30, and I gave them 40. Make a good wide entry. It's just, it's just where this road's going to be in here, Adam. I mean, that's just the bottom line. But I think if I, when I build this part of the road right here, I think if I cut it down and to make it all marry together, I think they'll have no problems making that turn. They're not going to be coming up and down the hill here a lot anyway. It's mostly just so they can. I think they'll be enough. I really wanted to leave all this like it is because it, it really kind of cuts everything up. This looks like a house lot. This don't look like just a squared up shelf, like a well site. I mean, this looks like a natural house site, I think. By the time we get all these other roads and everything in here, it'd be nice. It's gonna be nice to be able to drive up in here tomorrow morning. All right, let's get over here. Pooh Bear has got her done. Let's get this ditch line pulled. We'll get her ditch line and stuff pulled out of here. We have already kind of, I think everybody already sees where our culvert's going, don't we? Going right, right in there. That's gonna be the plumb bob, the center bowl, the location of our culvert. We'll be right in here. Which just makes good because that right there is where that water seam is. So it all works out nice, don't it? Let's pull this dish line. Let's get all the mater usable material we can. We won't slick this up just yet. We got it good enough. We got it good enough that it'll pass for now because we got to find out when the customer gets here he's got to mark this out pull this building out for me and then that way we can shoot everything i know we're close we are close so let's see what we can come up with all right folks i may or may not have screwed up still a little bit too early to know but I know that I am in my dozer hyperventilating because I cannot find this line. I can't find this line of sight to this road. And what I mean by that is it's almost like a natural born inertia in my body that tells me this is susceptible, steepness, slope, whatever. And I ain't hitting it yet. So, when I mark this out, you can see these white marks on these trees. That's the boundaries of the clearing, clearing boundaries. And when I marked this, it was in February with snow on the ground, and I was up here clearing my butt off. Now, it appears that I can add about another two or three, about two more feet in here, and I can add a little bit more where I'm standing at, about two or three more feet, and that might get, get me up here. So that's what I'm banking on i can't do anything else until i get my to get my roller operator up here back up here tomorrow and then i got a little keyway in here but i'm gonna cut this and, and put another keyway back and have him roll all this in as i'm pushing it in i was just to be honest i just wanted to see where it was going to be but uh poppy screwed up poppy marked it too high he marked her too high i mean this is not steep too bad but i don't like it i can't build this beautiful beautiful road and have this have a steep spot in it it's just it's killing me it's kind of like clipping your toenails and leaving your big toe not clipped it just don't make sense i know i'm hard on myself but i'm my worst critic i know i'm, I'm i know that i am that's the difference between me and and other people it's just like if it don't suit me i ain't giving it to you now here's the only thing I got. 
it looks like when I cleared this, I left this, I left this yellow pine. I could take that yellow pine out and run my road up the hill and let it just kind of, that, that pine's really not in the way, but it's gonna stick out. It's gonna stick out. So I need to take that out. And see this dirt right here is, it's not real good stuff. I was pushing it down that way to get rid of it. And most of them just sitting in my dozer and I just, I was dying because I couldn't, I can't, I can't see it. I can't feel it. But I think I'll be okay. I think if I run that road right up toward this, this yellow pine at an angle and I build that and raise that up a little bit to where the transitions ain't so heavy, dang old mosquitoes are out already. I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be all right. I think I got to peel this nasty mud off. I see you get down to right there. That right there is solid. So you got, I got just a little bit more mud to peel off. I was, I've shoved this stuff all down in the woods trying to, trying to hide it. Because you can't do nothing with it. And I hope, it's just so hard because see this ice storm hit. That's what all them, that's all that stuff is. That's where that ice storm hit whenever we was up here clearing and it, it knocked out all these trees. See all them? And I cleared a bunch more for these folks. And I could I just I couldn't clear anymore. I just I was way over budget on the clearing, way over, way over what I quoted. But I knew I had to do something. It was looking it looked too bad. I mean it don't look real bad. If I can get to there at a nice grade, then I can make it up here, I think. See like that white oak right there. I marked it to stay. That's the boundary. But I swear, I think I probably should have come up through here. But see, that over in there is, is bad, bad. Like that dirt, that dirt is nothing but slop. Um, I mean, it's bad. I mean, it's probably kind of like a accidental good thing, most likely. I gotta get some culverts. I gotta go to Stone's truck and get culverts. Um, I just want to walk up here and look at this because if not, my mind will not let me go to sleep at night. See, that's all topsoil. I haven't even, like, I've not done anything with that. That's the reason why I didn't want to be down here. I wanted to be up higher. And see, you can see that green ribbon right in there is that green ribbon. That's where the road was supposed to have went up that way. I mean, I think I'll be okay. I should, I had to shove that stuff out. Lord, Kate, if you're watching this, I'm sorry. I know you're going to hate that. I'm sorry. But I just, it's like they just keep, it's like they just keep popping up everywhere. I'm like, where'd all you come from? But it's where that ice storm took them all down. Um, and I've got, I've still got my good plan of, see, I'm bringing that road up. It's going to pop out up in here. So I'm cutting all this down. This is all getting cut out and shoved where I'm standing to make their switch back. And see, there's a, there's a daggone pocket of water in there somewhere, which is kind of a good sign. There should be some rock in there. Oh man, it's just, it's just got me, it's got me tore up. I think I got it fingered out. I think we got it fingered out. I think we'll be okay. We may have to take out. See, I hate to take out this pretty maple. It won't. I shouldn't have to take it out though, cause the road should be uphill. This maple. I'm probably gonna take out that white oak and that pine, and then I'm gonna have to lower the road, let the road sag down the hill to where it'll take that steepness out, and then we'll be okay. I think we'll be all right. Whew, just wrenched. I think I can go home now. I can go home now and think about it. Like I've been wrenching myself to death over this road anyway. This, this, because I was worried to death about this top, this part down here where they fork. Because I know that I had to make it to where they could come up and down the hill to their garage and back to their house. So that right there is what really, really hurt me is keeping all this to where I can accommodate all the different avenues of the road and 
I mean, it made it rough. It made it real rough on the on the planter. But I, I mean, I just that's just the only way I could do it. I'll just have to peel this down and roll it over, and I mean, we'll take that we'll take that other pine down, I guess, and we'll take it down. That'll help a lot. And we might be able to leave this white oak. If we can get that pine down, I think we can leave this white oak. Because my road, my road should be coming like right through here. This is where that road, that road should be turning and going up a hill. So we should be okay. We should be okay. This, this is what it's like to, <laughs> this is what it's like to be an excavating of your own. Is you just wore yourself to death with the product you put out. Because I take so much pride in my work. And, you know, like a lot of other people, I'm sure I'm not the only one that does, but like I'm OCD and ADHD and ODDD and boo 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 and all that other good stuff. And it just, where's my brain? You guys have a fun, safe night. We'll see you there tomorrow. We're going to touch this stuff up real quick. Park that dozer, let her cool, chill down. And then we're going to jump in that service truck and head up to Hamlin and get us some pipes. Then we're going to head to the poor farm. Thank y'all for watching, and we're up to 199. I was doing pretty good there. I gained about 20 subscribers in about three days, and I'll slow back down again. So if I can get anything else, it'd be awesome. You guys have a fun, safe day, and we'll talk to you soon.